Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Week. So, starting the day with some sandwich. Now, I don't usually like, eat sandwich in the morning because I always like having something sweet. But my sister and I were making this together and it was fun. We were not like following any sort of recipes. We were just putting everything that was in the fridge. And I really liked this. It was simple, very fresh and delicious. After breakfast, I had some chocolate chip cookies as a snack and then lunch was just whatever my parents cooked and it was a lot of things. It was just really good. And then I had this thing and then we went out to this trade fair that was happening in our town. They were serving this like pork sticks, like you know, like smoked pork, and I ordered some. I don't even remember the last time that I had pork, but this was really flavorful and made me really happy. So back when I came home, I was not at all hungry. I was so full that I had some rice and dal, and I just called it a day. It's Tuesday and uh, I'm gonna make myself oats because and yeah, I just had oats with almond milk and also added some banana and peanut butter. I remember there used to be a time when not having oats used to really make me angry. I'm happy it's kind of getting better, but you know, the obsession is still there. So whenever my sister comes home for like a short period of time, I always make sure I make her something special. So in this case, I was making donuts and not just any donuts. I was making the custard cream donuts that I made once before, but I really enjoy making donuts. I don't know. I mean, anything that has to do with kneading a dough just gives me happiness. It takes a lot of time to make donuts because you have to do double proofing and all that but I think in the end it's really worth it. I made it with my sister together. She was coating the sugar and also filling the custard cream and yeah, I didn't have that immediately. We were saving it for later because for lunch we decided to make some tortilla wraps or I don't even know what to call it exactly. We scrambled some eggs, made some chicken, and also, like, no, we were not following any recipe. We just had so much fun making this. You can definitely customize it however you want. You can add your different sorts of fillings. But we just went with some cream cheese, chicken, eggs, and a lot of fresh vegetables. And that was it. That was lunch. So for dinner, my cousin made some chicken. I just loved the chicken that she made because sometimes we need a little bit of change in taste and it was so perfect for that day. So next morning, we all woke up super late. So I decided to make some pancakes for the whole family. I made my favorite banana and oatmeal pancakes that were really easy to make. And also we had it with banana and strawberries and peanut butter. And yeah, that was, that was breakfast for that day. So the night before, I actually baked some carrot cake and it was time to decorate that. This little one was actually for my friend Ishani because we were supposed to meet later that night. And it was my first time making a bento cake and oh my god, it was so fun. I also made like another six inch cake for my family so that we can devour it later on. Baking for me is just such a therapeutic process because I just don't have to think about anything. I can just get lost in the moment and enjoy my time. And lunch was again some leftover chicken, fish, 
After lunch, we all had a slice of carrot cake and it was really good. Carrot cake is probably my favorite cake of all time, I guess. I mean, I love all cake, but this has to be one of my top favorite. And then yeah, we had some KFC burger. After that, actually, I was really full, but I still had to go out with my friend Ishani and we had pizza and these delicious cheese cigars that were so good. Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon. I'm gonna make oats. Nothing surprising out there, you know. And here I am making another bowl of oatmeal. This is seriously this is like my go-to breakfast so please don't judge me so i'm gonna have my breakfast and i was also reading this book called beach read by emily henry and i am trying to finish it by today because i have still around 150 pages to go and then i had a piece of leftover carrot cake i don't know but i feel like cakes they do taste better the next day I might be wrong but yeah then again i had some yogurt with a little bit of brown sugar on top dinner time so i'm gonna bake a bread now for tomorrow morning because it's been a long time since i had any brown bread and i just miss it so much so this is how i make my own brown bread for this recipe, I added three cups of flour, one and a half cups of warm water, also one tablespoon of yeast, and you also might want to add some salt. It doesn't require any kneading, you just have to let it proof for about like 40 minutes and then bake it. Next morning, I had two slices of the brown bread. On the first slice, I added some peanut butter and banana, which is like my favorite combination of all time. And on the second slice, I added some cream cheese and a poached egg. And then for lunch, I made a roti. And now please don't judge my roti making skills. It's, it's horrible, I know. But I had that roti with some chicken that my mother made in the morning. And yeah, that, that was lunch. Quick update, I had a dentist appointment today, I got my braces tightened. Ever since I got my braces, my teeth were getting stained and the orthodontist told me that the reason could be because of coffee. I was just so sad because I drink a lot of coffee, also I drink a lot of tea, so I don't know if I can give up on that. I think I slept for only like 5 hours. I just don't feel like myself, you know? I can either eat oats or I can have bread. Maybe I can have bread later on. I, I'll just have oats now. Today, we're making sweet potatoes for lunch. I'm super excited. I kind of tried to make like sweet potato french fries sort of a thing and you have to just uh, like cut the pieces very thinly, add garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano and mix it. After that you have to bake it for about like half an hour. And I had that with some dal and an egg and it was so delicious. I think I should make it more often because I love sweet potatoes so much. Then I had a piece of bread with some strawberry jam and also some peanut butter. I think it's also one of my favorite combinations whenever it comes to having bread. <laughs> and then dinner was chicken and rice and after that I had some yogurt to finish the day. Good morning guys so today is the last day of this haul but i eat in a week i think i'm gonna start the day with pancakes i'm just craving some pancakes 
I made my usual banana oatmeal pancakes, but I also added some cocoa powder because I think it makes the pancakes taste like cake, which I absolutely love. Look at these bananas. When your bananas are turning like this, it's a sign. Go make banana bread. Banana bread is probably one of the very first things that I ever learned baking. In here, I'm using four bananas and also butter. I'm adding brown sugar and white sugar. I decided to add two types of flour. I added oat flour and all-purpose flour. You can definitely use just all-purpose flour. Nuts are not like necessary, but I definitely like to use it. And after baking it, I scrambled some eggs and I had those with like a piece of banana bread. It's not mandatory, but adding a little bit of peanut butter always, always makes it better. This is the book that I'm currently reading and oh my god, I'm obsessed. So that was it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!